how does it work? Because all of us, as you can tell, I'm here in an abandoned theater. You look to, a, I think you broke into I'm a, in an abandoned theater. You broke into a movie. We both broke into these theaters to meet each other uh, for this illicit tryst. Uh, I'm curious. I know what it's like working during COVID. It is very strange, but it's pretty simple. I talk to you on Zoom. I do some comedy on Zoom. We're okay. How do you do this show during COVID? I mean, you're constantly surrounded by zombie extras, people dressed as zombies. Have they all been tested? Yeah, they've been very compliant, actually, the zombies. They've been uh, all negative for COVID, positive still for zombies. But they've <laughs> been right. really good at, uh, <laughs> at playing along with all of our COVID protocols. <laughs> um, it is just a trip, too, yeah. because everybody, when this all started, they're like, Lauren will know what to do. She's been she's lived through a zombie apocalypse for 10 years. And and I'd love to say that everybody was joking. I, I really think. And I said, I'm going on Amazon and buying bottled water just like the rest of you. <laughs> yes, I know. It's so funny that I hadn't thought of this beforehand, but uh, your show really is about the spreading of this virus and uh, people turning into zombies. It makes COVID look just downright boring. Um, but. <laughs> It's so weird to me that you have all these people dressed up, hundreds of extras dressed up like zombies who've caught this virus, mm. and then they all have to get nasal swabs to test before they can shoot a scene. <laughs> okay, you're it, a zombie, it, it but you're, you are you don't have COVID, so you can yeah. come on through. Um, yeah. I know you're probably aware that I, I got to... Uh, to become friendly with your former co-star. My good friend, yes. Yes, uh, Stephen Yun, and uh, he and I had a great trip uh, to Korea together, and uh, I got to see up close what a terrific guy he is, and um, we had this really nice experience. But you guys made it very special for him when he was leaving the show. You you went yeah. to a lot of trouble, you and, and your cast mates went to a lot of trouble to sort of make it an occasion. Well, it's no trouble. It's it's was the moment that I think we are still that was still the hottest goodbye we've ever had on the show. I won't even talk about it too much because right. it's interesting because his son being back, his son, his his on screen son has brought up so many memories for everybody of Stephen being here. Yeah, and uh, you know we do these like death dinners for everybody, so we'll have sort of like a civilized thing and everybody will give nice speeches and we knew for Steven and for Michael Cudlitz who left in the same episode we wanted to do something extra special um, and as you guys know from your K-pop days you and Steven yeah, Steven <laughs> and I did shoot uh, I'll, I'll tell the <laughs> viewers that don't know Steven and I did shoot a K-pop video together it took about 24 hours to shoot it nearly killed us um, yeah. and uh, but I know that 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 man loves to, he loves to dance he loves he to is. sing He's really into it. Yeah, he is really into it. And we basically got together and all the girls sort of thought, it might have been Denai's idea actually. And we just thought, what's the best way that we can sort of send these guys off? And so we had a party at our producer's house and we all disappeared to go and get our costumes on and learn like the final pieces of our absolutely atrocious dance routine to slowly re-enter the house one by one, verse by verse to perform Backstreet Boys, I want it that way. And Steven was actually crying. We were dressed up as Michael Cudless's character with orange mustaches and orange wig. I have the picture. I, ha I have wig. the picture right okay. here. I have you guys. Someone took a picture and I've never seen this video. You're not allowed to show the video. We're not. Yeah, we're not. you're not allowed to show the video. Sure. And uh, but I thought this was a rare photo behind the scenes of you guys saying goodbye. <laughs> to Steven uh, and his character Glenn, and you're all dressed as Backstreet yeah. Boys, but you've added um, you've added orange mustaches, which is a beautiful We've touch. added orange mustaches, so we're Abraham. And that, that t-shirt is a photo that Steven took, his favorite zombie on the show. And it's this zombie just like sparking a cigarette and smoking, which is one of the best things on, on our set. It's like seeing a zombie in a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> or zombie vaping or just like the most random things that they'll do. Yeah, I love that. Um, I love that. Yeah, yeah. You guys have had such adventures, you and Steven. I mean, you're, you're, you're spa. What did you do? Yeah, we went to a, a spa together. We were, we spa? We were, yeah. we, were uh, we were naked together at a spa, a wee spa <laughs> here in Los Angeles. And um, 
he took me and uh, he said, you're going to have an experience. To the spa. He took me to the spa. <laughs> and, and he also, he's, that's the night he stole my heart. And he uh, took me. we had a really intense time. That was before we went to Korea together. So that's how it starts. When men go to a spa together, <laughs> and they spend some time with each other's bodies, it ends up with them traveling <laughs> around the world together. Let's take this to the next level, please. Uh, wait, I, yes. I'm just glad that he was okay with it, because... Uh, yeah. <laughs>